Good morning, y'all. I am coming to y'all with heavy hearts today, asking for prayers for Peter Mon. Those of you that's been here for a little bit, you know Peter Mon. You know I talk highly of Peter Mon. He is actually one of the first vloggers I ever watched on YouTube, and I really enjoy him and his commentary. Now, I knew something was up yesterday. Usually, when I get up in the mornings, I check Peter's um, YouTube channel first thing and watch his videos first. That's the first videos I watch in the mornings. Well, yesterday, I noticed he didn't have any new videos, and I was like, something's going on. Something's up. I noticed he didn't upload all day yesterday, which was Thursday, and I was like, something is going on. What is, what's going on? Where is Peter? Well, this morning I woke up and I searched his name again on YouTube and a lot of videos were popping up like praying for Peter Mon and I'm like, what? What is going on? And then I found the pictures and I was like, oh, y'all, my heart skipped a beat. I love me some Peter Mon. I love his content. I am wishing him nothing but the best. Now, I know a month ago, he just posted on his Peter Does Stuff channel that he was experiencing seizures and migraines, and he has already had a horrific car accident as a result of seizures and migraines and things like that. I do want to include a few clips from that video of Peter telling about a horrific accident that had happened before. And I find it really eerie that, you know, he just talked about this a month ago. And I was rounding the corner. And um, if you live on in, in Indianapolis, it's uh, it was Hague Road that parallels 37 right by Roche Diagnostics. And um, on the north side of Indianapolis. And uh, so I... When I, like, before I got to the light, I was like, dear God, please just let me make it through this light. And the next thing I knew, I woke up in the back of an ambulance. And all I can I remember I was like, <gasps> and my heart was like, and um, I don't know why I remember this, but a very good looking um, EMT guy was there. And he was like, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. And he was so calming. And so, and I was like, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. He's like, you can breathe. You're fine. If you couldn't breathe, you couldn't talk to me right now. He was like, you're fine. And I'm like, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. He's like, you're fine. And he was really relaxing to me. Um, I had gone, um, th the three cars came and then I crossed over and I went down the ditch, up the ditch. I was driving a Nissan Xterra and I was in, I had my seatbelt on and I didn't have a scratch on me. And um, so I went down the ditch, up the ditch, through the guardrail. I took the guardrail out, um, through one lane of traffic on the interstate, through the other side, there was like a guardrail over there too, and onto the other side of traffic and stopped oncoming traffic. And there was like a 20 mile backup that morning. So the fact that I'm even here and I'm alive is a huge deal. It's a huge, 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 huge deal. Um, and so, yeah, it's interesting because for, I was just actually talking to my neurologist about this the last time. Um, you know, I've gotten a lot of questions when I've shared my story because I've said that my dad kept my car at his house because the doctor said that I couldn't drive for six months. And I was actually talking to the neurologist about this because I've gotten so many people that have commented on my story and said, um, so because your dad was friends with the doctor, he just like, they worked it out with them. And my doctor said to me, actually, he said, many states, Illinois being one of them next to us, it is um, a state mandate that if you're driving and you have a seizure that you lose your license for six months. Um, but in the state of Indiana, that's not the case. Um, doctors are not allowed to report to the BMV if people have had seizures or not. You're supposed to self-report that. So I did what my doctor recommended and didn't drive for six months. Um, and I can remember it being like really tough. Like I can remember I had gone through right before that. I think it was right before that. So either right before or right after I had gone through a breakup with my first long-term boyfriend. And on my days off, I can remember just putting on my backpack and like walking all around and like going to get food and going to get groceries and going to Blockbuster and stuff like that. And I said, well, what would happen if I had a seizure right here? And she goes, I, I've done EEGs on people that are having seizures. And I said, she was like, you know, when I was doing my clinicals and stuff, you know, especially. 
And I said, well, what would happen if I had a seizure right now? She said, I would actually see it on here before you had it. She was like, I could see the, the brain waves. And um, so anyway, uh, I had in the hospital, that was when they were able to diagnose me. And the kind of uh, epilepsy that I have is called juvenile myoclonic epilepsy. Um, uh, I'm thankful that I'm even here. I should never got into that car and drove. It was one of the biggest mistakes of my life. Um, you know, and I'm not proud of it. The, the only, I think, godsend that came from it was, I don't know that they would have ever been able to diagnose me with epilepsy. Had I, that not happened, I ended up in the hospital. Um, and so... My doctor put me on 1,500 milligrams of Depakote a day. I take 500 in the morning and I take 1,000 at night. And I have ever since then. YouTube commentator Peter Mon is currently in the hospital and recovering from a severe car crash. On Wednesday, the fatal car crash, which involved three cars, left one driver dead. Peter and the two others injured in the crash are expected to recover. Now, this is a picture of Peter's Jeep. This is the Jeep that he drives in a lot of his vlogs. According to the police report, Mom was driving a Jeep Grand Cherokee, which struck a Chevrolet pickup. The driver of the Chevrolet pickup was pronounced dead at the scene. Peter's Jeep was in the center of the road when the event occurred and also struck a Nissan Altima. At this time, it is still unknown what caused the crash. Local news station WRTV reported that one person was taken to the hospital in critical condition. No confirmation who exactly was taken yet, however. The community rallies behind Peter after receiving news of the tragedy. This is a few of the people in the community showing their love for Peter on Twitter. I don't have Twitter, so... Now, let's go to the local news station's report about this crash. This current stretch of Allisonville Road was not under construction during the time of the crash. But the people I spoke to out here in Fishers tell me that something needs to be done on this stretch of roadway to make sure crashes like yesterday do not happen again. It used to be two lanes. Now it's four, so... Um... You know, there's more traffic, but it kind of seems like it's moving more because there's four lanes. But you constantly hear people slamming their brakes on, and um, it's scary. It's scary pulling out of here, especially going southbound. Sarah Mingus has lived in Fishers for the last 13 years. She describes hearing the crash. So I heard three, like four really loud bangs, and it was like the loudest thing I've ever heard. And I knew immediately something horrible had happened. So I called 911 and looked out on my deck and I could see a couple cars that were completely smashed. The three vehicle crash happening on Allisonville Road between 126th Street and Orchard Boulevard left one man dead and three others injured. Police say the driver of Jeep crossed the center line and hit the other two vehicles killing one of the drivers. Sarah says her home backs up to Allisonville Road. She feels like improvements need to be made so crashes like Wednesdays don't happen again. I don't know what could be done um, but I think with someone losing their life, people can look at that and see if there's improvements that could be made. Maybe that wouldn't happen again. Barbara Gilpin drives the same stretch of roadway daily. She feels like the improvements could be made as well. I have a hard time right here at this corner because there's kind of a dip in the road down there and the cars get in that dip and you really can't see them until they're kind of right up on you. I know I've several times had to slam on my brakes and back up so it really does need a light. I asked the city of Fishers if they've gotten any comments or safety concerns from people who live in the community regarding Allisonville Road. They said they're not making any comments while the case is currently under investigation. Meanwhile Sarah has a message to all drivers out there. I would say slow down, stay off your phones and pay attention to the roads and keep your family safe and other people's families safe. Working for you, Adam Shumes, WRTV. How horrible. I bet, I can't even imagine how Peter feels right now. You know he's going through some things. If y'all know Peter, you know. He has such a good heart and good soul. Ugh, I just can't imagine. I feel so bad for Peter. If y'all believe in prayer, 
If you believe in sending good vibes, good thoughts, warm hugs, please send Peter all the prayers, all the positive energy, all the good things, all the good thoughts. Please send send everything Peter's way. He could really use them right now. And his husband, Alex. I'm sure they're going through a lot right now. All my thoughts and prayers are with Peter and everybody watching. I will keep everybody up to date as updates become available because I know Peter is really popular on YouTube. He has got a lot of different channels with a lot of subscribers. So I know there's numerous people out there who are worried about Peter as I am. Be sure you smash that subscribe button. Show Peter some love in the comments. Click the bell to all. That way you'll be notified if YouTube decides to send out notifications. And if not, you can always just come back and check because I upload normally every day. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video. Y'all stay safe.